Hello, I'm FBX Toycam, welcome back to this video. So we've only seen one snapshot of the update aquatic so far, but we've already seen so much of what the update has to offer. We've seen a brand new type of food, we've seen two brand new mobs, we've seen a brand new weapon, we've seen a brand new like entire interaction with the oceans, and we've also seen a bunch of new blocks already. You might not have seen all these blocks, and that's why I figured with today's video, why not show you the 13 new blocks that make up 1.13? Because I mean there's arguably more if you can like entities and stuff, because if you use all of these blocks together, you can make this house right here. That's right, it's a beauty, and I know <laughs> It sounds unbelievable that there really is 13 new blocks in just this one snapshot, let alone this update as a whole, but it is true, and I wanted to show you all 13 of those blocks in today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy it. Like this if you do like it, because it helps out the channel, and let's know you do like this whole video, but let's get straight into it already, shall we? And let's start by talking about the first, uh, I guess the least creative ones, but the most needed ones, and I know one that will get a lot of you excited. That's right, we have a brand new type of, uh, you know, slab, and a brand new type of stairs for each of the prismarine blocks. We've got prismarine brick stairs, and prismarine, prismarine block slabs, so really, really great looking blocks. I think these are the ones that get the most use because these look fundamentally amazing. I think you can use these on a monument to do some cool stuff, but even outside of it, there's just the ability to make new stairs. I think that's great. And again, they work upside down as well, as you would probably expect. It's just a really great thing. But then as well as that, we've got dark prosperine slabs and dark prosperine stairs. Uh, I didn't know how to probably show them off. So I was like, you know, why don't we put them in a little thing like this? But yeah, as you can see, work exactly the same. And then finally, the one of the pair that you probably won't like the most, but it does still do the magic Chloe stuff is actually the regular prismarine. So prismarine slab and prismarine stairs. Again, kind of useful. I think less so unless you're necessarily underwater, but still the fact that it's in the game is great and it does have some use for someone at some point, I would imagine. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that has to be this block right here. Then we've got six brand new blocks or six brand new variants of wood. So bear in mind, we already had the bark block. This is a bark block right here. It's a, you know, you combine four wood blocks together and you just get like a fully six sided wood block. Well, what if there's kind of like the opposite of that, where instead of having six sides of, uh, you know, um, bark, you essentially essentially have no sides. So now uh, what happens in this update, there's a brand new, uh, you know, use for the axe. It's called stripping. So when you, uh, you know, and, you know not, not that type of stripping, ha 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 ha, am I right? But no, uh, it's called stripping a block. So if you right click or left uh, trigger, or again, uh, I, I guess it'll be like a middle, uh, you know, uh, a press function on the pocket edition. But if you do this on all the platforms, then what will happen is this, your what look, like log will turn it into this, your wood, your log, <laughs> any type of like log thing will turn into this. And as you can see, it's like you've debarked it. You've stripped it of all the bark and and although you don't get the bark to use later, it does mean that you can take an entire stack of any uh, type of wood. So as you can see, dark oak wood turned into stripped dark oak, uh, you know, acacia turned into stripped acacia. And this is the most notable difference between the inside and the outside, because obviously it's a gray block on the outside, but it's orange on the inside. So you can do some wonderful, really powerful things with this. We have a brand new, like super colored block. Uh, then we've got the jungle wood, also kind of uh, strongly different. Same with the birch wood to some extent. And both these blocks also do it as well. So that's wonderful. And you can do this on any block in, or in any orientation as long as it has some amount of bark on it. So here you can see it's a sideways wood block. You can do the same thing here. And look, you can see it's a top based block. Actually, wait, it always turns into a top facing one. Uh, so even though it's a sideways facing uh, uh, log block, as you can see, it turns top facing because there's only one orientation for these blocks right here, apparently, or at least one orientation to switch to, even though you can place them in different ways. Because if you look right here, like if I chop down the block, and I get the block back. You can see how I can use this sideways, but it won't ever spawn sideways. So maybe a bug, maybe intended, probably just a bug for the snapshot, but still pretty cool to notice regardless. And it will also work on the bark block, which again, is from a previous update. It's, uh, it's coming in the same update, but uh, it's from a previous snapshot. So it's not one of the 13 new uh, blocks in this one, but still that just adds to the 13. Like 13 is just one snapshot and that's excluding a bunch of stuff. So here is the house you can make with all 13 blocks because they've gone over 12 so far, you know, three, three brand new stairs, three brand new slabs, six new types of uh, wood, the strip wood. And then also we've got this block right here. So as you can see, this block is, uh, well, you, you might not be able to see it directly, but it's called the kelp block. And you know that food I was eating earlier? That's called dried kelp. It's a uh, thing you can find in the oceans. And if you combine them together, you will now get a kelp block. In the same way that combining hay gives you a, uh, you know, a hay bale. And in the same way combining iron gives you an iron block, you can now combine uh, kelp together and you'll get yourself one of these blocks right here. So yeah, you can use this for a variety of different things. This is the key use right there. And that is 13 blocks in Minecraft 1.13, just from this one snapshot. So 13 blocks in this one snapshot. But then on top of that, uh, the snapshot added some partial blocks that you might consider blocks that we should go for as well. Because 13 blocks, that's amazing. Like, look at this. I made I made a house just from these new blocks and it looks horrific. I agree. But the fact that I could make this pretty darn wonderful. I mean, this is a, this is like modern art. So yeah, this is my brand new modern art house. But uh, just in case this isn't your thing, although it, it totally should be. This is, this is new fashion Minecraft. 
Minecraft. But yeah, basically as well as that, we also have the, of course, turtle eggs. Turtle eggs are more of an entity because they eventually hatch into a turtle. So whether you want to consider them uh, a thing or not, I, I really wouldn't consider them to be a block, but you know, they do exist and you can use them temporarily as a, as a block. So that's a thing. Uh, we also, of course, have seagrass, which can only be placed underwater. Again, I don't know if I personally want to consider this to be a block because like it really is a bit more of like an entity because it glows, but technically according to the game, it's a, uh, it's in the decoration tab. So again, that means it's, even though it's animated, it kind of is a block in the same way that tall grass is a block. And then obviously if we switch into creative, we've also got, so game mode creative. Uh, if we switch into creative mode right here, uh, we've also got, <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just type it. Doesn't want me to do that. Uh, so if we, if we switch into creative, uh, then you'll see that there's also kelp. So as well as seagrass, which is the way more common one, you can sometimes find kelp, although it's not like wildly uncommon. You'll find kelp and it'll look like this instead. As you can see, this is kelp. Looks pretty kelpy, right? Also look, there's an enderman underwater. Apparently they can just do that now. But yeah, so, and he picks up the gravel. See, he's making the ocean better, one block by block. But as you can see, if you find the kelp down here, the kelp itself is kind of a block, although you can't pick block it, you know, which is weird. And there's no way to plant it personally, as far as I can tell. Uh, but it is a thing that you can find in the oceans. And I don't know, it's kind of block-like, right? So yeah, whether you want to argue that's a block or not, that's your thing. But yeah, that's 13 new blocks in 1.13, plus some extras, plus all the blocks from they added before this update, and the ones that we add in the future, plus the fact that all of these uh, blocks, so if we add any of these half slabs, so even though you might think like Prismarine half block, that's amazing enough by itself, well, guess what? On top of that, as I showed you in my early video, where I showed how much oceans changed, uh, they'll look like this now instead and they'll work underwater that's so uh powerful and that's just a by itself that's a cool change and yeah this update doesn't just care about survival and exploring players it cares about your builders too because the no like no matter who you are one of these blocks should get you excited and if they don't get you excited i don't know i'm like revoking your minecraft license so yeah i hope you don't enjoy this video uh i made a couple of ones earlier i made one of course on the uh water changing as well as the two brand new mobs and uh, if you guys want i can make one on the trident too because there's a brand new weapon in this update let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below but for now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're out here, and I hope you all enjoyed the snapshot content. Again, let me know if you want to see more of that too, because honestly, this is the first time I've truly covered a snapshot, because this isn't just a snapshot for the PC, although it is just a snapshot for the PC, but it's also a window, a snapshot into the future of Minecraft PE, a window into the snapshot into the future of Minecraft console, and for that, I'm truly excited. So thank you very much for watching the video, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.